What's going on everybody? Health, wealth, and love to everybody that's listening to this. This is Your Local Perfect here with a bit of a different video today. I've been really thinking Perfect. about what value I want to add to this content creator space, to this YouTube space. And basically, this is me dropping the whole gamer type videos and really focusing on content that I want to create. So this is something that I'm calling Thoughts from the Tribe. And the name is based off of the Tribes of Midgar game. I've been heavily, heavily, heavily into it. If you don't know anything about it, I have a couple of videos going through explaining pretty much what it is, what the gameplay is. And my God, is it so much fun. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the worst financial decisions you can make in your 20s. And this is me reacting to a video from the roommates. You should definitely go check out their channel. They have a lot of good self-help information geared towards young black men. So it's definitely worth your attention. If you like this video, please sure to leave a like or or a comment down in the description box not in the description box boy <laughs> down below like i've been saying i really want to start a community with this channel but with all that youtube stuff out the way let's get to the video it blows my mind how many dudes literally graduate college they don't have good paying jobs but they get a brand new car off the lot but so many guys in order to try to keep up with the joneses they go broke buying these things hold on hold on hold on i already have to stop it right here keeping up with the joneses that will keep you held back so far trying to keep up with what somebody else has trying looking at these social media posts looking at all these different things and try to keep up with what you think they have when a lot of times they're living a fake life especially in on instagram and twitter and all that that's staged and set up if you just Stay in your financial lane. Do what's in your budget. Pay attention to your own pockets and growing your own family. And if you do this, you'll actually come out ahead of the people who are fake flexing. What is the worst financial decision that either you made in your 20s or that you see other men make in their 20s? Thinking about that, what's the worst financial decision I've made in my 20s? I'm 31 right now, about to be 32. Um, what's the worst financial decision I made? I would definitely say the worst financial decision I made in my 20s was credit cards. I was very naive and frankly very ignorant to how credit cards work. Before I knew it, I had all this credit card debt and nothing to show for. I'm still paying on those credit cards as we speak right now, but I got a plan to knock all them joints out. And only now am I actually working towards paying off those credit card balances. So. I would say the biggest mistake I made was getting two credit cards without really understanding how to manage them and how to really leverage them for my benefit. But let me tell you the worst financial decision so many people make in their 20s and that is keeping up with the Joneses. This family always had the latest and greatest items. Spoiler alert in the movie is that the family is actually a plant from an ad company. And what the ad company literally did was they paid this family who were actually actors to go into neighborhoods. What did, what did I just say? A lot of this stuff is a facade. A lot of it is fake. I'm not sure. If not, no, let's be honest. I know you can't afford these shoes. Woo. How I know you can't afford you it. have more money on your neck than in your bank account saved up. Woo. How does this make any sense? It blows my mind how many dudes literally graduate college, they don't have good paying jobs, but they get a brand new car off the lot. You can't afford Ooh, that's another scam. Buying a brand new car off the lot is a scam. It literally makes no sense to get a new car because the fact of the matter is, even if you get a brand new car with really low next to no miles on it, it can break down right around the corner. Never buy a brand new car, always buy a used. When you're young, straight out of college, just get you a used joint and don't get nothing expensive. As soon as you drive a brand new car off the lot, it depreciates in value immediately. Immediately. It is not worth that purchase. Afford a brand new Challenger. You can't afford a brand new Mustang. You can't afford that high rise apartment. You can't afford these things. Continue driving that beat up car that you drove in college or that you drove in high school and save that money instead of buying the brand new BMW or buying the brand new Benz. You might have to make those sacrifices. Hell, you might not be able to go on a vacation to Tulum to Turks and Caicos, you may not be able to do that. Sacrifice money today to have mm -hmm. success tomorrow, because that's the key. 
If you're able to, that's the mother flipping win. Wealth tomorrow, not what you have in your 20s. So my advice, every single last one of you guys, is take finances seriously. Anybody on Instagram that makes you feel insecure, that makes you spend compulsively, I would advise you unfollow that person today. That's one of my keys to not keeping up with the Joneses. If you are a person who's trying to level up and who's trying to become their best version of themselves, what is one sign that a person can show in their 20s that lets you know that they're on the way to be extremely successful later on in life? What would be my answer to that question? Discipline. If you can show discipline and if you can show financial discipline and in, in the context of this conversation, if you can show financial discipline with, you know, saving now, cutting back, you know, doing making smart financial decisions, asking people like really learning and researching how to become wealthy, not just rich, but wealthy, how to build generational wealth. Because the thing is, the knowledge is out there. The information is out there on how to gain wealth. Learn from people who are smarter than you and have done it before and have the proof to show you that it's worked. If you can get through that process, you're on the right track. Success comes in many forms. It's different by, you know, person to person, what success really means, but you are building the building blocks, the foundation to your to your legacy, be it man or woman, boy or girl, whoever. You are on, you're building your legacy. Like he's saying, learn investments, learn how you can bring in money, learn what you can gain as an asset and learn what you can remove as a liability in your financial life. Literally, if you can create yep. great spending habits and become financially literate, success will come, which is why in my seven books that every man should read, I recommended Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So I've read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and it is a very uh, good book with a lot of valuable information on becoming financially literate. But one that I would definitely recommend over that is The Richest Man in Babylon. To me, it's better broken down than Rich Dad, Poor Dad in regards to finances as well to so take those things seriously guys here at the roommates remember the, the job is to help every man and woman become the best version of themselves physically emotionally spiritually and financially and with that i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you got something out of it i hope you learned something from this i know i definitely enjoy making this type of content content that i feel that can help people if you enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment if you did enjoy it Leave a dislike, leave a comment as well. Until next time, guys, health, wealth, and love. This is your local perfect. Peace. Perfect.